So hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome back to the channel. Ooh, it is hot up in this barn. But I wanted to drop off a quick video tonight to talk to you about all the things that are happening, all the things that you are seeing, we are seeing, all of the discussions, and we're gonna try to bring it, bring it, bring it around town back to center, okay? There is so much going on and has been for <laughs> the last three to four years of our life that it's impossible to keep up with everything on a daily basis. But you know what? Here's the thing. They're starting it up again. That's right. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Are you ready for this again, America? Are you ready for this again, patriots? Now, here's here, here's where I'm at. So you know what's going on, all the things they're talking about, all the things they're trying to bring back. Um, all the deadlines, and I'm going to speak generically. I'm very confident that you're with me. You know, we've talked about uh, just in the past video or so, um, you know, they're going to try to start up all these different things in terms of mandates starting as early as mid-September into October. Folks, Labor Day is next week. Well, 10 days from now, essentially. So, you know, you're looking at, um, you know, total... I'm not... <laughs> you know, I, I just get so upset about this because... There are so many rabbit holes that I could go down in with everything that's going on. And the problem is, is you don't know which one is exactly right or wrong. Is it a combination of this or that? Are we saying that this is happening all of a sudden? You know, we got to distract over here. We got to bring this back. We got to do all these things because, oh, you know, we have things like laptops. We have things <laughs> such as an election coming up in a year. We have things such as all the banking and e the economy crisis that we're in. We have a situation with the BRICS nations. We have a situation with, I mean, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, 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 I just think that we are on the brink. I mean, we are like leaning over the edge of, of civil unrest in this country, unlike anything we've ever seen before. I don't think you're going to see a repeat of 2020 in the way that you saw it. I think it's gonna be, I think there's gonna be a lot of things that are not gonna be tolerated uh, the same way that they were in 2020 through 2021. I may be wrong on that. I accept it if I am, because here's the bottom line. We could talk about all of these subjects and sit here and debate and talk and give our opinions and, and pray. And, you know, I can tell you to do this, do that, and you can tell me to do this or do that. But all it boils down to what makes the most sense is number one, are we right with God? Are you right with God? I can't make you that. I can't make you be right with God. I can't save you. You can't save me. You have to do take that responsibility for yourself and talk to the Lord. But what I can absolutely push, and I'm going to continue to push, is how are you on your preparedness? Okay, clearly I'm going to be talking about the very, very basics in terms of preparedness at this point. Okay, the things that are you use on a daily basis. I am not telling you what is real and what is not. I am not telling you whether or not this goes away in a couple of weeks. And, but here's the thing. We live in this country, the world right now, is pushing you constantly in some form of a crisis mode. YouTubers, on, YouTubers aren't, aren't, are not doomsdaying you. The elites, other things, are doomsdaying you every day now. It's just whether or not you recognize that and whether or not you choose to do something about it to prepare your mind, your soul, your heart, your home, your animals, your family as best you can, okay? We've all already seen what the destruction of mandates and lockdowns and all of the things, what all that does to individuals, what it does to people's minds, what it does to their bodies, what it does to their families, um, what it does to small businesses, um, and it, it helps to continue the shift of literally enslaving you into a form of feudalism. That's what I think. So to say, I mean, I can sit here and go, well, they're doing this because they're avoiding that. They're doing this or that because they, they want to divert from this. Oh, this happened, so now look over here to the left, what's happening? The bottom line is, is unfortunately, we have a fairly large amount of the population that I feel are gonna go along with whatever they're being told to do. 
we can talk about it. We can have an opinion about it. We can say, do not comply. We can say, stand your ground. We can say all of these things, but some, you know, what the bottom line is, is in the day and age that we are living in, a lot of people can't think for themselves. They've already proven that. So if that makes somebody mad, so be it. Don't do it again. <laughs> I mean, it's just that simple. What that means is, is you have to be thinking about this now. You, you should already every day be thinking about what happens if a crisis hits. When a crisis, you know, you don't prepare for a crisis literally after it's already happened. You're supposed to do it before, which is what I'm trying my best here in this video because I'm very emotional about this today. I'm irritated about it today because, you know, you knew and you know you already guesstimated. You knew something was going to happen again. I mean, why did you go, not you per se, but why would have anybody, why, I, okay, I'm going to be a smart aleck. Lord, forgive me. I guess all the things that you did, if you did them, and all the things that you took, I, I guess they didn't work. Imagine that. <laughs> so, you think they're going to work again? Hillbilly, hillbilly, hillbilly questions there, okay? I don't know. But what matters is that regardless of what we see, whether it starts next week, whether it starts tomorrow, whether it starts in January, or whether it starts next August, I'm telling you right now, you better know where you are in terms of the things that you have, how long you can make it if things were to get ugly, beyond how ugly they already are, or if lockdowns start happening, okay? Okay? You're, you literally are going, the, the first debate is literally tonight on television. I didn't even know that till about an hour ago, because to me, that's not what I'm focusing on. I'm focusing on the farm, the preparedness, in, in, trying to push you to do the same. That's we're, we're trying to keep it really tight and focused, laser focused. So what I want you to do, if you listen to me at all, I mean, if just if you just listen, to, you don't even have to do it at this moment, but I want you to let this bounce around in your brain just for a few minutes. What harm is it going to be for you tonight, right now, to go into your pantry and look around and go, okay, how long am I, how long could I make it with this? Okay, do I need to fill in some holes? Meaning, you know, I had X amount of flour, or X amount of sugar, or X amount of whatever, whatever, put it, beans, whatever. And, you know, I, I need to restock that because I kind of held off. If you have held off, you don't need to be holding off anymore. Now, I'm not telling you to freak out, run to the store and clear the shelves. No, I'm not. No, I am not. And I will, re I will rebuke anybody that tries to take me out of context. But what I am saying is you might want to go over the things that you have. Are there some holes that you can fill pretty quickly in the next couple of days? Is there a certain medication that you have found in the past when certain things happened that you found to be beneficial for you if you do or if you did get sick? Do you still have those? Do you need some more? What are those things? Do you need to get a, a, a little bit more extra cat litter because you've got cats like I do? What are those things? Use the common sense that God and Granny gave you and realize that a crisis of any type can literally hit you and your family or your community at any time without any warning. Look at Maui. So now we're not talking about Maui as much, are we? Now we're talking about variants and all these other things. It's convenient, isn't it? So what should you do? What are we doing? Today, tomorrow, I'm looking around going, okay, yeah, I gotta get more hay in this barn. Yep, got to do that. Is there a couple things in my pantry that I need to add maybe one or two more to? Probably not a bad idea to do that. Think about all the th think what about what it was like when you knew this whole situation was amping up the last time. And you didn't take it serious because we'd never really seen anything like that before, right? We never expected it to do what it did. We never expected it to go as long as it did. So what would you do different? If you could go back to December of 2019, early January of 2020, and you could have changed some of the things that you had, what, what can you add? I don't know. I would be, I would definitely be in that direction right now. 
Because it's not about really what you believe to be happening true or false. It doesn't matter if somebody gets sick or not. What matters is if they start trying to put in all of the lockdown situations again, and maybe it will be less, maybe it will be more. See, we don't know. But what you do know and what you should focus on, what I'm gonna focus on is I'm gonna be as prepared as I can. We've seen this. We've felt that regardless of what they told us in the past, Regardless of what we personally believe, there is a possibility that something like this again could rear its ugly head before 2024. Could this be something just where we're testing the waters now and we don't know? Is this something mild that floats away? Well, what if it comes back in December? What if it comes back in six months? See, we don't know. But what we do know is how close are we walking with God today? And are we prepared? And are we doing the best that we can? Those are the things that we can control. So what we know, what you know, what I know, is how close are we walking with God? And are we prepared for anything as best as we can? Please check your pantry. Please check your medicine pantry. Please check your pet needs. Please check your bodily needs, you know, simple things that you need in order to function top things off. I did not say, again, I want to repeat this one more time. I didn't say, go crazy, lose your mind, strip shelves, and go nuts. But what I am saying is, get ahead of the curve. You will never regret being prepared. There's no reason for you to, because you never know what's going to happen, and it's going to give you a, some peace of mind to know that you have what you need at home, and you're not going to go have to you, go out and compete in crazy town in order to get something very simple that you could have had, pro, you know, could have had in your pantry or wherever a lot sooner than when all of this crazy town started. Please do the best that you can. Keep it together. Guys, give me, I, I need hugs. Can I have a hug? Give me a hug. I need hugs. I'm just so tired of all this. We're tired. And that's part of the point here. It's the breakdown. It's the slow breakdown. Stay strong. The more prepared that you are and the more that you say, nope, not this time. And I'm going to get my spam and beanie weenies and I'm going to do all of these things. And nope, I, no, 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 no. The better we are going to be as a people. Remember that. Stand your ground. Guys, I've got to get back to work. It's super hot. I hope you're doing well this evening. Thank you so much for the support. This is going to be a bonus video here because this is where we are tonight. We're having this discussion. Okay, uh, we need to start looking around. Uh, I, I, we, we constantly are doing this. I constantly tell you to do this. Yes, 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 yes. But you know that when you start hearing thunder in the distance, thunder, feel the thunder. You know what I'm saying? It sets a different tone in what you're doing. And I hope you're hearing that. We're in for a major ride for the next, well, could be several years, folks. I know you don't want to hear that. I don't want to say it. But we have to accept the reality of where we are right now and the evil spiritual warfare that we are in that is constantly pushing the good people of this country. Okay? And there's a lot of warped, lost souls that are pushing on the good people of this country. You are the last frontier. You are. Tennessee, East Tennessee was the original frontier of this country. But you, in this community right now, you are the last frontier, I feel, for freedom. Not only in this country, but literally globally. Everybody's watching us. Remember that. Like, subscribe, and share. I'm praying for you. I'll take a prayer if you want to offer me one. I really, really will. Stay strong. Stay busy. Start making a list. Looking around. I'm really serious. Don't, don't delay. Don't wait for two weeks. If you can get a hold of some things that you know you need starting tonight and tomorrow, you're going to feel a whole lot better. Appreciate you being here. Be safe. Okay? Keep it together. Keep praying. Godspeed. And I'll see you on the next video.